day, folks. Maybe you wild man here again. Uh, just want to show you a great, great setup here. This is a live trap that's designed to go in a bucket. So you've been looking for a better live trap, a better way to catch your raccoons and skunks, uh, besides those cheap cages that they sell at Tractor Supply or places like that. Um, problem with half of those cage traps is once they, once you catch something in them, I mean, raccoons up here are big, and they'll uh, they'll bend the bars and they'll bend the, the pieces. They'll pull in all the grass from all the outside and just destroy all the way around it. These are great. These are from the Iron City Trap Company. They're a live trap designed to go in a five-gallon bucket. Uh, I've got one here not assembled. I'm going to assemble it for you and show you how it works. And uh, just in case you want to add these to your arsenal of traps out on your line. So first thing is the parts that come with it. So I ordered these on eBay. Uh, they were about 25 bucks a piece uh, plus shipping, of course. And uh, so this piece is all welded up and that comes as one unit. Uh, it comes with this piece here. This is the pan that will slide into the back of the pail. Uh, it comes with the little door lock part here. And it comes with the uh, a little threaded, threaded rod here and I'll show you that in a minute. Now, it also comes with four self-tapping screws uh, that are supposed to uh, attach this to the, to the face of the pail, to the, to the top of the pail. I don't use the self-tapping screws. I actually just use uh, Gorilla Glue. Uh, it seems to work just as good or better uh, than the glue, and it creates a, a better seal. It creates a better seal around the outside here that allows, uh, that allows to be a little more waterproof. Okay, so uh, all of those parts come with the pail, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assemble it and show you how it works. Well, the first step is you're going to keep your uh, keep your handle up on the pail. All right, I say up, meaning uh, the, the door swings up this way. You want your handle on the same side. So you're just going to set this in the pail. Make sure it fits good. It'll fit any 20 liter pail. I haven't found the one that it wouldn't fit, or five gallon bucket, or whatever. Uh, I haven't found one that it doesn't fit in just yet. So all I do is take some. Gorilla Glue or whatever your favorite kind of adhesive is. You could probably do it with, um, with a silicone based caulking as well if you wanted to and it would be just as, just as good um, with the caulking. It doesn't have to be but it's whatever you want. Whatever you want to use and I just rub that in, give myself a good, pretty good thick coating of it. It doesn't have to be a lot, a lot. It just has to be enough to uh, seal against the pail. Right, so there you go. All right, so with the handle on the same side as the door is going to be, there we go. I'll turn it this way. Just so that the handle is on the same side as the door frame. Tap it down, and that's basically what you have. So you should be able to open it down, and the handle should be on the top part, and the door should flip up open. Okay? Now, once that... Uh, once that glue dries, you'll never get this out of this pan. It is good if you can get it to be almost level. There we go. Okay? Great. So, now once that part's finished, uh, that will dry on its own, of course. You need to assemble the trigger mechanism. So, the trigger mechanism is this piece uh, with the flat bar, and this piece with the hook on the front and the threaded rod part on the end and then you make this little small piece of threaded rod. Um, threaded rod turns screws into here as such. And you can put this in here as far as you want. You can make this rod fit the length of your pail. Um, again, it's completely adjustable. Okay, and then this part goes as such. So what you're doing is you're actually creating your trigger mechanism for the pail to work, for the set to work. Okay, and again, you can adjust the size of this completely, making it shorter or longer depending on the pail that you want to use. Right, some, uh, some pails are a little, little longer than others. Okay, um, okay, so that's what you would, that's what you would do to do that, okay? So again, that just shows you how you can adjust it for length. Take it off for a second until we put it in the pail. Okay, so you're going to open the door, slide this in. 
and slide the threaded rod part out this little gap in the top of the tail, and then put this part back on. So you know you have it adjusted properly when the pan sits at the back of the pail and just comes out a wee bit, and then that will hook the door. Okay, so you know you have that about the right length. Right? So that's about right. Now that that's done, we're going to take this piece, and this is the door latch. Uh, this is a locking mechanism that goes over the door. Okay? Uh, it fits, it slides on here and on here. Now there's a screw already in place here, and then there's a little tiny cotter pin here that comes with the kit. So what you want to do is put it under the screw and then over top on this side, let it fall to the bottom, and then put in the cotter pin in this little corner hole right here. Okay? What that does is it allows it not to, not to come out past. Okay? Now, that's pretty much it. You basically just built the trap, and I'll show you how they work. So you're going to slide the, the bar up, open the door, and hook it on the little hook. You put your bait in behind that, in behind that pan, that flat part that we put in the pail. When the animal goes in, they're going to want to get at that bait, so they're, especially if it's a raccoon or a skunk, they're going to be able to pull that pan toward them. When they pull that pan toward them, this happens. Door shuts, this locking bar falls down to the bottom, and then they can't get out of the pail. That's where they are. They're stuck. Um, and it's beautiful, because if you've ever trapped a skunk, especially in a, in a cage trap, you still have a skunk in a trap when you're done, and you still have to be real careful when you approach. Um, these ones, they're in the pail. They're back here. They can't, they're not going to spray in the pail. They're not going to spray themselves. Um, so you basically can approach the pail, and um, you're completely safe, right? It's all enclosed. They do also come with this little handle. Just a piece of 14 gauge wire uh, that's bent to be a handle. And the idea is that you hook it here and here, and then grab the handle of your pail, and boom. If you need to take your animal somewhere to dispatch it or relocate it or whatever you want to do, you can just carry it. Just like this, right? Don't even have to get your hands near the trap. It's beautiful. Okay? Um, that being said, when it comes time to relocate your animal, um, or dispatch it, or whatever it is that you're going to do, uh, especially for relocation, these are real easy. You don't have to get your hands anywhere near this thing to let the animal out of this trap. You simply take it out into the woods, you're going to relocate, turn it, turn it again, let the bar fall, okay? The trap is, com is completely unlocked at this point. Give a little nudge, that's it, door falls open, animal's free to go. They'll run out and you got your trap back and you're all set to go. Uh, again, these are a great, great live trap. I use these a lot. I especially use them in areas where folks don't want their lawn all torn up by the cage trap catches. Um, they're inconspicuous. You can take these pails and shove them right back in a hay mow, take them into a barn, do whatever you want to do. And they're very small, easy to carry around. Uh, again, I got these from a place called the Iron City Trap Company. I uh, don't know if they still exist or if they still make them, but if they do, these are a great addition to, uh, to your trap line. The, they're not that tough to build. If you had a sample of one, uh, they wouldn't really be that difficult to create if you knew anything about metalwork or, or that, but I don't, so I bought mine. Um, anyway, just wanted to give you a, a better alternative or a quick look at a live trap that fits into any five gallon pail out on your line. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and send us any comments or questions that you might have, we'll be happy to get back to you. That's all for now, and be wild man out.